All right, for our rebuild process, we're gonna show you guys how we actually replace the diaphragm spring and the cover. Now, I wanna stress that what we're gonna show you here is how we do this. Under no circumstances should you ever take these nine bolts out of the cover. All right, so we have our pressure plate disassembled. Here is our new diaphragm spring. We've cleaned most of our bits, just kind of knocking all the, uh, any rust or any clutch dust that's built up in there. And set that back in here like such. Take our pivot ring, line it up. Another part of our process, we're going to take our intermediate plates and our pressure ring. We're going to make sure that this is nice and level across. Now, it's not uncommon for these to have a little warp to them. And we'll obviously correct this again so that your clutch is good as new when you get it back. We'll walk over to the press. We'll show you guys how we do that. We take your plates. We put them on the world's largest arbor press. And we just give them a little squeeze to get it flat. We'll take our straight edge and we'll check this and we'll do this all the way around the perimeter until we've got it as flat and as straight as we want. So here we've got our plate on our grinder and this will get us a nice even finish on all of our plates. We'll do the same thing to our flywheel and this is how we make things or bring things back to uh, as good as new. So we got our drive blocks back from the sandblaster and you can see they took most of the surface rust off of there but we're going to chuck them up in the mill here and we'll put just a little bit nicer finish on there just to make them look kind of like they were than they were new. <laughs> 